All right, let's connect and talk about the Tour de France. No fun here, though, is what it sounds like, Danny. Mm, nope. Officials are looking for a spectator who caused a spectacular crash. Take a look at this video. She holds out a sign oh, for no. the TV cameras, and yikes. Oh, no. One rider from Germany goes down, and then dozens of riders fall into a massive pileup. This looks like one of those NASCAR races. Uh, this wreck led to one rider withdrawing with a nasty cut on his wrist. Now police want to find that woman. Did she mean to do that? Oh, my. Doesn't look like it. But still, that's massive. kind of a yeah, lot. It seems like she wasn't using caution, though. Or you know, maybe not thinking. When the peloton comes through, they're grouped together so tight. You know, you got to give them enough space. Look, she's not even looking at the riders. Yeah, she's not even paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, she just wants to be on TV. And that rider had nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Oh, my goodness. That looks painful. Yeah. Oh, that video. Yikes. So, mm. Mm, well, let's dive into what else is trending this morning. I'm pretty sure we can all relate to this family of gorillas when they found a snake in their home. So this video is going viral on TikTok. It was taken at the Walt Disney in Orlando. We're going to pull it up right now for you guys. Um, but you're going to see a gorilla. There will be a gorilla <laughs> tracking something in the brush as soon as I don't know if it wants to pull up right now. Uh, I want to see this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is going to, you know, it's funny because you see this whole family of gorillas. There's just like the tiniest snake in the brush and somehow the, the gorillas just all freak out. I mean, that would be me. I would be the gorilla. I do the same thing. Um, so they're just like us. I don't know if we have the video. I'm thinking we don't right now. If we do get it, we'll show you guys. Um, <laughs> we want because we're talking about it. It I sounds know, awesome. See it, today. it sounds. I'm trying. I'm not giving you the good yeah. visual right now. It, All right, it let's go like to it. the poll. Then. Let's go take a look at our totally random poll today. Uh, we want to ask you at home: When doing the laundry, do you separate your darks from the whites? And I know laundry can be a pain in the butt sometimes. But 63% of Utahns say, "Heck yes, we definitely separate." Um, we had Alan Troyer write in of Utah, and he. Um, I enjoyed the response because it's very detailed. In addition to that, dark colors from light colors, also the same with delicate colors. Bathroom laundry, also in the same manner. Bedroom, same. Laundry just isn't laundry. So he separates <laughs> everything. I like that, though. Imagine how long it would group. take, though. Yeah, I know, to organize it all. But that's impressive. Yeah. That's and the then you have to fold it all after that. That's a whole well, other but, thing. But do you? You know, that should be the next poll. Do you fold the laundry? Well, oh, here's another or one. Or just shove it in the drawer. What's harder, folding it or putting it away? I yeah. despise putting that stuff away. Despise really? it. I will fold it all day and it'll sit on my bed. Just oh, folded. all these problems. <laughs> At least we don't thing. have to go to a river with a washboard, you know? <laughs> yes, you're and right. And haul yeah. it all down there. <laughs> Things could be worse.